You there? Alright, I want some shirt. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to be done. I worked three days in a row, Oleg. Three days in a row. How about that? That never, ha I never ever booked myself three days in a row. But the guy called me on Monday with an emergency job, so I didn't, it wasn't planned. The guy called me money, you ever, you ever heard of uh, King of Trees? That company, King of Trees? Yeah, he, uh, he called me Monday morning at 10.30 on my day off and was like, I need you to come and do this tree that a climber gave up on. And they took every single part of the tree out that was over, like, that was over a spot to rig it to. It sucked so bad. There was no rigging point. They took the whole tree, half of the tree out. It was the easy half. Yep, boom down, cable up a little bit. I'm gonna put main balancer and then another balancer. That's good. That's fine. If it falls, it'll be a sweet video. I, I'm not like too, if I get too worried about my stuff, then it's not fun, you know what I mean? So it's like, I try not to be worried, too worried about my stuff. I learned, I kind of learned that like as being a dad, you know? Like I would buy my kids something and I would, I would kind of be overprotective about all that money I just spent on them and they just don't have fun, you know? I'm like, be careful, be careful. I'm like, ah man, that's no fun for those kids. Just use it how you want to, kids, have fun. So I do, you know. I just bought my kids two hoverboards. God. Yeah, but you know what? One came one day early, right? And it, they're five and seven year old. Cable up. All right, hold it. Cable down. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do a wrap on this. So I have enough to keep flying. That's good. So one came a day early, and I made the mistake of saying, "Okay, you guys have to share this one for today until the until the another one comes." Oh, they fought about it all day. It's my turn. Oh god. Alright, 
cable up. Jump more. Well, cable down a little bit. Hold it. I make this cut, I think. Hey! I need gas. Is this fucking guy not... Hey. Hey! 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 I need gas! Thank you. I didn't mean to sound so bossy. I know I was running low. Yeah. That's what it came with. 16? Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, you keep using 14s on it. I don't, I don't, I want to put an 18 on it. Yeah. I have to do that too. I ran an 18 on one like a month ago. It was great. But I almost killed myself a couple times because my muscle memory is used to a shorter bar. I did, you know, my brain doesn't know where that tip is. Same thing with a 14 inch. If I put a 14 on there, man, I mess all up. Like with bore cuts and stuff. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. You guys are kicking ass out there. Huh? 
I'm good, thank you. So rule of thumb, connect your chainsaw before you untie it. General rule of thumb. That way you don't just, when you, because if you don't do that, you, you're done cutting and then you just let it go. I am gonna do the first half a cut tied in and then I'll switch over, okay? Can you hear me? I'm gonna do the first half of a cut tied in and then I'll switch over. So remind me if you see me doing the second cut. <laughs> I'm half joking. Ooh. This is a weird cut. Where do I make it? Where, where do you think it's leading to? Right here, yeah. Why? Yeah, I know. It's going to move a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but where do you think the weight is gonna shift? Where do you think I should make on the back, right? Cut first, cut through here, and then like that. Okay, that's what I was thinking too. Four rope planning. All right. What do you have on it right now? 
Oh, like, what do you have on it? No, that's fine. I'm just, I wanted to just see what pressure you had on it. Um, yeah, put a, about, just put less. Wait a second, let me get out of the way. I think it's gonna be fine too, but I just wanna see. Go ahead. Worked out good. Thank you. I just, the way it looked, I wasn't sure if it was gonna slide off into me. Got a little nervous. Woo. How you doing? Good. Pretty big. Have you seen the base of this tree yet? Yeah. It's wider than your counterweights. About as wide as your counterweights, I would say. I don't know, once the, once the climbing's done, I'm out. <laughs> oh. Pretty big weird piece. Boom up. <laughs> the thumbs up is a universal we're good to cable up maybe or just get it out of here.
this one. Actually, no, let's go this one. Yeah. Just, I'll do another wrap. I'll do another wrap on the main. Okay. That's fine with me. That's too much to the right. Okay. We'll see how good you are, yep. I trust your judgment.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's super tight. Yeah, we cable down a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's right. It's good. Okay. Yeah, whenever you have them so far spread out.
cable down. Hold it. It's all you. No? Okay, cable down. Hold it. That's all you, man. That was, that was you. Oh, that was you. I'm... <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty stubborn when it comes to like, I'd rather just cut with my little saw. Like, I should have used a bigger saw, but I'm just so stubborn. It's like... I'll just, I'd rather just cut than... I don't like it. There's too much. Oh, you're talking about the chainsaw? Yeah, yeah usually I keep, I keep them stored. If you want to bring it back here, I'll do that. If you're not using it, you know? But yeah, like once I get... I mean, I could take this with my little saw. This is going to suck. That's not one piece, though. Ah, dude, we're fine. I'm good. Thank you, though. I think it's going to be some pretty cool footage from that camera. Hey, do you mind if I take like a five minute break on the ground? Thanks, man. Oh, like I'm gonna take a break. Oh, he's on the phone. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take like a 510. I wanna let my body cool down for a second. Super smooth so far. You guys are fucking kicking ass out there on the ground. I didn't bring a lot of guys. I was gonna say, man. It's it's hard to keep six guys busy, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Thanks thanks for having the big crane come out. This job would have took like all day with the little crane. I was, I was thinking a lot more picks. The, yeah, a lot more like twice as many picks and cutting this up twice as much. Well, this is going to be super it's going to be a pain, really, honestly. But yeah, it's probably four picks or three picks depending on you know what I mean? But I like to take everything as big as I can safely, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like what I was saying earlier, I was like, it's nice that we have the big crane because I don't have to take, you know, individuals. I could take the whole freaking thing. And yeah, I, I, if you rig it up nicely and you don't put, you don't shock the crane at all, then it's all safe. I, I thought this crane warranted a big crane. You know, you, no, you were right. It were, I, I, agree. I concur. Are you still talking to your dad? My dad, you know my dad? He used to play softball with you. Um, yeah, I talked to my dad. Where's yeah. he at now? He's over at St. Pete. St. Pete, still over there. I was on, back then, I was living on 11th Avenue. I was living on 11th Avenue by Woodlawn. What's your name? Pat. Pat? Yeah. He lived on 11th. You were shit. You were young. Yeah, I know. Stephanie. My sister, yeah. Yeah. How old is she now? Oh shit, do you have an ex-wife named... Yeah, Sharon. Crazy oh fuck, Sharon. she was just over my house. She's crazy. She is fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't... Yeah. I was married to her because I worked at the city then, but I was married to her for 17 years. And it was finally Yeah, she was like... Oh man. I, I used to run a tree service. I was like, okay, lady, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, lady, you used to run one, sweet. But I remember, hey, one time we were... I was all boozed up, and your dad was pitching. <laughs> he had on like this one shin pad. Wasn't it heaven? 
My dad? Yeah, my dad's Kevin, yeah. Oh yeah, he, dude, he, um, he started playing ice hockey. Oh, did he? Yeah, and he broke, he got checked by some young dude, fucking broke his neck and his back. Now he's all, like, in recovery, and he's fucked up. He's, like, 65 or, I don't know, 63, and he he's just... He was doing hard labor back then, though. Was he roofing or something? No, he's, a uh, he's been an industrial mechanic ever since I've been alive. He works at West Pharmaceutical. Oh, does he? Yeah, he's, like, a, he works on those giant presses. Yep. And I was one block over from there. But yeah, we used to get all pissed off out there drinking and you know. Uh, they, what, you, was that like Sunday games where it's keg games? No, we were keg games. We were yeah. No, we played keg games. Keg after games after. are always. But he was our, he was our pitcher and, you know, as, as sad as it sounds, like in slow pitch softball, you still got to like protect the pitcher because they're, they're like defensive. You know, they're yeah. 50 feet away. Oh, yeah. The way they make these bats and balls. Yeah, my dad always was pitcher. He, he always played pitcher or shortstop. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't run anymore. No. <laughs> no. Get old, huh? Get old. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely slowing down, too. I'm definitely not trying to run anywhere. <laughs> Fuck where, that. Where I went and played paintball the other day, and I was like... Smoking like a pack a day, I'm like, fuck, this sport is not for me. I live in Clearwater. I tell Eddie all the time, he said he had you coming out to climb. But I tell Eddie, he's a really, really good climber too, but he, you just get over, you just get over there. I get it, dude. I get it. Another five, ten years, I'm going to be like, fuck my life. I'm going to start training, <laughs> you know? You yeah. All right, Oleg. Are you almost ready? Oh, shit. Hey, handsome. Wait till you hear that chipper shut off. I'm getting over Cool. Yeah. I yeah. I was like, oh, I got one waiting for him. Six guys. Yeah. I was like telling oh like, it's hard to it's hard to uh to have any time on a crane work. Like especially like when when I'm working for somebody else and it's you're the guy who's paying the crane bill. You know what I'm saying? So I always feel weird like taking my time or taking a break. But it's super hard. I, I get it. I, I would have been taking a break long before you are now. Yeah. I just get to a point where I'm like, all right, I need to like let my body chill for a minute and then. But no, that's tough. It's like a year, a little over a year ago, I got that lift. I put my spikes <laughs> on like once a month now. You got belly now? Yeah, we gained, literally gained 15 pounds. <laughs> he goes running and kayaking and all this, like he's in like an outdoor. He goes running and all that. I'm like, I'm not boots to work anymore. Yeah, they're in my truck in case I need them, but. Now I got a big guy, I'm like, holy crap. I climbed the other day until about two o'clock. I thought I was gonna have back pain the next morning, but I was, I was good. They don't take much. Yeah, I climbed. I climbed Monday, Tuesday. I see. I don't. As a contractor, like I'm not a cheap climber. You know what I mean. So I make enough money. I work two, three days a week, and I'm happy. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like I'm not killing myself. I, I have enough to like live okay. You know, twelve, fifteen hundred bucks a week. I'm fucking happy. That's yeah. it. But I climbed Monday. Monday at ten thirty. I was fucking sitting there and the guy called me for some emergency job and threw a big number at it so I was like damn it I gotta go and do this oh I, I seen that that sucked man that was hey, horrible somebody, somebody went out there it was like this it was like this but the whole side was over the house and they left well, me everywhere nothing you, hey, everywhere you, yeah so you take that down he must have been pissed off I think I think maybe we ever climbed that he might have been pissed off at the guy <laughs> yeah so hey he took the rigging side down like super low, so you couldn't rake the side that was over the mobile home over that. You didn't see it? Look. Some people just stake the obvious fucking guys on there. 
But he took oh, him. man. The worst. Yeah. The so worst took, ever. He took the one side. He must have been mad. And he's like, all right, well, then you got to have somebody like him come out. I think he was inexperienced, and yeah. he did all the easy stuff first. Oh, because you get up there, and you're like, oh, I could rope all this stuff down right now. And then you're like, oh, shit, I took my whole rigging point out. Yeah, playing out the whole tree. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you always do what's over the house first. That way you have so many more options for rigging. So you had, so you had to have guys yanking on a tag line to get everything out. By the time no, I didn't even tag it. I cut it, let it swing into the point, and I was like, good luck. <laughs> Good luck getting it guys like I'm not I'm not fucking overworking myself yeah. and doing that You know that guy like I was I didn't call him. You know what I'm saying? I was like listen I was like as soon as the climbing is done. I'm leaving like, I, I got it down to roof height and I was like see you dude. I'm fucking I'm not dropping that yeah, far somebody takes, somebody takes everything out here. Terrible Well, it was from tree company and they kind of partnered up on it and then and then uh i guess yeah like the tree was like that for a month and then they came back from doing storm work dude had a bunch of money in his pocket from doing storm work got up in that tree and was like fuck this or <laughs> they did the easy half pulled a big deposit decided to never come back and then and then came back yeah, same company. Same company. Same company. Well, it's like they partnered up. The one guy was like, "All right, we'll split it," but I'm gonna climb it and whatever, you know. And then the climber was like, "Ah, fuck it, I'm done." They got ten grand for that tree. That's what he told me. That was a ridiculous number. I was like, "You got ten grand from this tree? You didn't bring a crane in here? You're done." You know, he paid me a grand to come and fucking take it out on Monday. Yeah, I seen that shit, and then some people. You post something and you gotta answer the same thing 12 times. <laughs> You're like, oh, it looks like this. I deal with it every single day, bro. I'll answer <laughs> once or twice and then I'm like, read the comments. We get some of them guys, we get some of them guys fired up. You know how many people I have blocked? I have know? thousands of people blocked, bro. If people say something I don't like, I just block them. I don't even yeah. engage. Yeah. And they'll never see my content well, that's again. The fun <laughs> shit. What? That's the fun shit. I don't, you know? I don't engage with it. No. Nah, it's, Put there's. Videos on YouTube and Facebook. He doesn't want people out there telling him how to climb. No. Critique, critiquing his little actions. He knows that he's screwed up. Yeah. I post everything. I post fuck ups. You see the video where I dropped the big piece on the house? No, I didn't see that. That's a fucked up video, dude. I see today, is it? No. No. It was, uh, it was a huge, like, wishbone piece, right? And then there was, like, another. So it was, like, this giant spread wishbone. And then another scaffold coming out beneath that. And I cut like right here, but it was all fucking hollow, all hollow in there. And then, and, and then, but it was too far of a spread. And when it came off, the top piece, wishbone closed, broke. And then the second scaffold thing shifted and then it ripped right off the fucking thing. There was like four or five limbs that were just like dangling from the crane. And then the rest of the piece hit the house. It's fucked up. It was like, I, I got greedy. I took a huge piece. I didn't do a proper inspection and I was being super cocky before. I was like, I don't need to know how a tree grows. I don't need to be ISA certified to do removal. And then it falls apart because it's all decayed. And I was like, oh my God. How about, how about uh, the porter rat morning that you get off Oh, that picture. fucking kid. That was pretty funny. <laughs> You hear that YouTube? He's he's not taking any responsibility for that one guy out there named Guy. He's a part-time Duly noted. Like we got him from the labor thing today. Yeah, Fucking yeah, day yeah. labor. I don't know. Yeah, he gets up. Uh, out there, he should tell the guy. He goes, Okay, he goes, What well, I want you to do, I want you to show me how to use this uh, quarter right here. Well, I asked him, he's like, Yeah, I know how to use yeah, it. Was, yeah, he was and I was pretty, like, Okay, show me. Pretty firm. You're like, All right, show me because you were going to show him. And he did. <clears> he <throat> said, What I want you to do is, he said, As you go, he said, I want it to be continuous. So, you know, you're not going to go across and then go back the other way. You know, it's going to be. Okay. The guy goes, yeah, yeah. And he didn't know. Trevor finally goes, I'm leaving. <laughs> I got up there, the guy tied my saw on, I pulled my saw halfway up, the saw fell off. Yep. And then I was like, okay. And then and then 
and then I was like, all right, I need the rigging rope tied on, and they pulled my whole fucking, because I had started the job previously, and they pulled my whole rigging system out, my rope out of my rigging system, and I was like, fucking yeah. done with it, done yeah, with it, I left. Saws hit the ground, though. Yeah, my saw hit the ground, I was pissed. That's a seven, and that was the, that was the meanest I've ever been to anybody on film. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I was like calling that kid a... If, if they're going to call you in, they should have at least somebody there that has a new... Been a ground guy that has removed the tree before. You well... just grab two, two random guys that... Know so, the, so they were like a landscaping company. Me and my buddy did the previous half of the tree, but he couldn't come out the second day, and the guy wanted the tree done. So I was like, all right, I'll work with whoever wants to work with me. You know, I could pretty much train somebody. But if you're just gonna lie to me, dude, and, and like drop my chains all, like, oh, I'm not into it. Exactly. That kid actually gave me a hundred bucks. That, that job was two hours away from my house, and he was like, here's for your travels, man, and your trouble here. I, I thought that was really respectable. Yeah. After calling him a fucking idiot, and like, I'm fucking out of here, you guys are dumb. <laughs> It's not that hard. I get it. It's a little embarrassing not knowing some, you know, like I don't, I'm over that phase in my life where I'm not afraid to say. They could be intimidated by you because they see the video. Yeah, and I get that too. I mean, that's like, that's like lying to the cops about having fucking drugs in your car. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, is there anything in here? No. Well, I'm gonna search. Still nothing. Two minutes later, what is this? <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Oh fuck! That's like, I've been I've been watching like marathons of cops. It is hilarious. Oh, like you there? Awesome. A Ukrainian. Are you there? <laughs> yeah, it's done. Will you boom? Will you boom down and swing left a little bit? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, your left, not my left. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, your left. <laughs> <laughs> What? Is, uh, well, you got something, you got an issue? All right, hold it there. All right, you're gonna wanna boom right more. I'm sorry, I, I thought you were finagling with it. Oh, that's good, cable down. What was all that noise? Swing, swing uh, anyway a little bit, just like a foot or two. That's good right there. What's the beep, what's the beep? Do I hear a beep? Oh. <laughs> Alright, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming. I wanna check this camera. Alright, hold it. Look at that, it's still on. Fuck yeah. All right, cable up. <laughs> okay. Go all the way up there. Uh, hold it there. I'm 
I get my rope, we're gonna go. I want you to go up and over and drop me through the center, okay? So uh, we're just gonna get that little top one on the right, or do you wanna get that whole left side? You see where you see where this one comes off? We'll, we'll leave that and then take this. Or do you wanna take it all the way down? Okay. And then and then we'll take that. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I know we're getting a little far out now. Don't forget to talk, don't forget uh, to talk to a crane operator, you'd be nice. All right, uh, cable up a little bit. Hold it. What the fuck is that about? Oh, okay, yeah, extend. I could uh, put, I could wrap this a couple more times. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. Cable down. Hold it.
table up. Hold it. All right, first cut.
Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. I was afraid something else was going to fall. <laughs> How much does that weigh when you get the chance? 40? Okay. 4,000. Yeah. All right, cool. Climb the tree to get the sling out. You pick. Yep. You pick. Whatever you want. Oh. Oh, going for the. So you see how it's two? You want to take two? So just get it, take it back down to my other cut. All right, so the one, this one, and then the one underneath of the Y, okay. All right, as long as we're on the same page. Yes, yes your highness. down a little bit. Hold it. All right, cable up a little bit. Hold it.
Listen, I'm taking it underneath. Right here. Not here. But right here. Because it's too close to this union. I don't want that to rip off. I had that happen before and it hit a house. This one, yes, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put the choker here. I mean, it's gonna go out a little bit, but. Right here. Like that. I was just gonna put it here. All right. Chicken out, yeah, I know. But I figured once I take it right there, it would counterbalance, but yeah, we'll do this. We'll go with this. I'm fine with it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I see it. I see it, I mean, I should just let you do it. That last one was perfect. I'll just, I'll turn my brain off and get your little laser pointer out. I know you got a laser pointer. Put it right there, you tell climbers all over. Put it right there, just put the shackle right there and make the cut. It's gonna be really, go ahead. You're right at the top of your ball. On the, on the butt? Yeah, it's looking okay. Yeah, it's a little loose. But if you're gonna do a nice shelf and you can pick it up. First cut. Not lunchtime. Nobody said it was lunchtime.
have on it. a good call you have been doing this a couple years <clears throat> my watch says I walked three miles <laughs> <laughs> and it says I took 8,000 steps. <laughs> Those guys are like, fuck, we don't get a break. No breaks today, boys. No breaks today.
Ah, oh, I touched your ball. The greasy part. Grease on your swivel. I don't think he expected this tree to go this well. Yeah. I mean, we'll probably be here till three, maybe four, you know? With the trunk and stuff. I don't know, it's like 12.30 now. So we're doing fucking, we're doing really good. Over half the tree's done. It's like the trunk pieces. It, it, the trunk pieces almost seem like half the tree, you know? It's like half the brush is done and then you have, the brush is like half the tree and then like the trunk is half the tree. All right, uh, cable up, we'll, we 